Fellas, we had Omar Q in here last week, and he <laughs> told the people that Brian Danielson decided he was staying with Tony Khan. And then after we did that video, we got this new report. Kato, can you please pull it up? Of course, us? Mr. Kenneth Bummington. So Brian Danielson said that uh, his contract with AEW expires next Thursday, August 1st, 2024. Now, there was more to this statement, but pretty much he's saying that he did not sign yet, and he's excited to see what happens with his career after this. Now, I'm sure he's going to sign an extension of some kind because he has to get to All In where he's going to face Swerve Strickland, but he has not re-signed to AEW as of right now. The contract is up next week, so we have no idea what's going to happen with um, Daniel Bryan from here. Brian Daniel saying whatever you want to call me Daniel Bryan, Bryan you know Hello, Valentine. Mean. we got to come in here and clean up the mess Omer made what do you think about this situation does Brian Danielson stay with AEW or will he be out of here signed to the E um it's it's actually tough because the video we did before this one about Brian Danielson I was almost 100% sure that yeah he's team AEW basically till the end of his career legit career let's say after that he could go to the wwe maybe have a couple of you know one-off matches do the hall of fame deal and get out of there but like as far as you know brian Danielson, where is active in the ring as we still know him i thought that was going to be it in aw because he's already kind of you know policing people for social media doing some backstage roles doing a bit of this a bit of that so like yeah once you do your last wrestling match quote unquote um you can go ahead and transition to a backstage role in aew um but now i'm starting to have doubts like it's insane to me that his contract is literally ending <laughs> next thursday next like thursday th yeah that is insane to me and i don't know brian danielson will go wherever he can wrestle the most i guess uh, i think yeah money is always a concern but is it too much of a concern for brian danielson at this point i'm not too sure because i'm sh sure of this he's have a he has a lot of money kind of you know stockpiled on the side i think mm -hmm. he's a smart man uh i don't think he's gonna go to new japan or anything it's a war between ww and aew um even yeah. with these news i agree with you he needs to well sign an extension and uh stay there for a while at least see through all in i think we agree with this uh me and brian when it comes to him winning that match at all in and becoming the mm -hmm. aw champion before if he's gonna get a pod there or if he's gonna stop wrestling um so uh, to me, when I look at it, uh, there's a lot of things to think about. But if I had to give you a straight answer, just for the sake of it, I would say he's going to stay in AEW. It just feels like to me, uh, this is what he likes. This is what he's been enjoying. Um, a lot of people criticize him. Um, I, I myself say that he's been kind of directionless in AEW for a while. When he first came in as a heel, he was awesome. Like he was one of the greatest wrestlers yeah. in the world. Like every match, I was just glued to my screen. Um, I don't know. Even through all of that, I feel like Brian just loves his spot over there. Uh, I'm sure, like, uh, Danielson himself has actual criticisms of the company, too. I'm pretty sure if you asked him personally uh, without any cameras on. But, yeah, I think he's Love very much um, going to stay there. And if he goes to the WWE, I'll be legit. I'll be legit surprised. Yeah. Well, Brian... I believe you said that if he was in WWE, they wouldn't let him wrestle anymore. So what do you think about this? Do you think there's, this possibility, there's a possibility that he goes to WWE or does he stay in AEW since they're kind of more open to letting these wrestlers do pretty much what they want to do? Mm, nah, there's no there's no way he goes to WWE right now. I think he'll later on go get inducted into the Hall of Fame. There's a lot of stuff that has to go and happen over there. But personally, I think he'll stay in AEW. Plus, he's the he's the number one contender. He's the main event at All In right now. So I don't think he's going anywhere. I I think that he finishes his at least wrestling career off in AEW. He may go sign a Legends contract with uh with WWE eventually. But right now, he ain't going nowhere, man. I think he's staying right where he's at in AEW. Well, I don't know, though, because you, um, I believe I said this in the last video as well. You think of guys like Chris Jericho, Brian Danielson is another one of those. They were kind of tied to a Vince McMahon. So I think with Vince McMahon being gone from WWE, I don't think they're tied in like that with Triple H. So, and in fact, Triple H and Chris Jericho has some type of heat going on. I don't know Probably. if they actually washed it completely. Nuclear heat. Yeah. But um, I, don't, I think Chris Jericho is kind of more stuck in AEW because of that. And I think it may be the same for Brian Danielson. He probably could go back to the E, but because Vince is not over there, I mean, what are you doing? 
I don't know. But hmm. he did he have beef with Triple H at one point? Oh, yeah. Daniel Bryan? Oh, he when did? He, not Daniel Bryan. Um, Daniel Bryan Jericho? did. Jericho did. Oh, okay. No, I mean, I don't think I, I see Brian Danielson going back to WWE at some point. There's just no way he doesn't go back. That'd he be very surprising. Sure, yeah. if he doesn't. Ooh, I don't think so. I think you don't even think he's got the Legends contract. I think some of these guys are going to be happy riding it out in AEW because if Tony Khan's going to pay him. Oh, no, no, but I'm not, I'm, not talking, I'm not talking from a wrestling standpoint, though. I'm talking about more like Hall of Fame status, you know, getting a video game, stuff like that. If Tony Khan's paying you big money in AEW, is that even worth it? Because Legends, they're not making a lot of money on those Legends contracts. You're right, but like if that comes down to Tony Khan, will he be a smart businessman, a shrewd businessman, and luck? Uh, Brian Dennison down as like WWE did a couple of years ago with Undertaker like it was appearing everywhere they mm. gave him so much money and kind of shut that stuff down if they do the same mm -hmm. thing with Brian Dennison absolutely yeah sure uh, but I mean like who wouldn't want to be in inducted into the Hall of Fame uh, but uh, to your point Kenny I want to say something because I remembered um, I don't exactly know where he said this but like you know they had this Wrestlemania main event match with uh, Edge, Roman Reigns, and Brian Danielson. And Brian Danielson was actually really involved alongside Paul Heyman in the booking of that entire feud, you know, week to week. And I remember him saying that he didn't really enjoy that. He, he wanted to wrestle. That's why he's in AEW right now. And, like, to me, it feels like even if he has a backstage role in the AEW, you know, um, yeah, basically machine, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it makes me doubt it, you know? Like, I feel like he could also be done completely after, you know, he's done wrestling. He's just, like, retired, uh, yeah, do his done, farming. Yeah, kinda, yeah kind of alluded to that in the interview. He was saying he doesn't know what he's going to do after this or what he wants to do after this. So he could be just done altogether. I think Brie Bella was kind of teasing coming into wrestle. So I don't know if that's something um, that AEW is going to want to do or w if that's something that would give him the incentive to stay. But, I mean... That could be an interesting piece of the puzzle as well. Uh, one question I have, though, for both of you guys is, so we are, I think, all agreeing that he's going to sign an ex extension, but is this going to be an extension for like three months or three years? What do you think? Nah, I, I think he, I think he's going to get signed for a couple of years. Like, I don't mm. think, like, I think he will still be wrestling. I just think his full-time career is coming to an end, if that makes sense. Right. Yeah. And apparently Tony Khan said he told his dad, if anything happens to me, Brian Danson is the guy I want running the company. So it sounds like he wants Whoa. Brian Danson to be his right hand man. And if yep. that's the case, then he's going to pay him that big money to keep him in AEW. So I don't think he's going nowhere. That is big. Yeah, at least okay. not for a while. The thing I said about him retiring completely now, now I'm in doubt of that. I'm very confused about this Brian Danielson situation. But to me, that sounds like <laughs> what the hell he might he might end up taking uh a very important role in aw like even booking you know yep does Con tony khan have a daughter because he might be the new triple h <laughs> Bell, better be careful <laughs>